Hey guys, so what are we doing today? Uh, I'm in a bit of a sticky situation here. Uh, I'm at Sears right now. Yes, Sears. Sears. Finished my shopping. Was in Sears for like maybe like uh, 45 minutes to an hour. Finished my shopping. Ready to go home. Walked into my car. And try to turn it on, and guess what? Nothing. Nothing at all. Um, but uh, all the lights work. I mean, everything on the lights on the dash work. Um, the radio works, the blow motor works, everything works. But um, I'm trying to turn this car on, and uh, it's not cracking over. It's not cracking over. And... I've tried it 15 times. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I tried it 15 times and it won't crank over. So, basically, what I did was I went out and I checked my headlights. I was thinking the battery. I don't know why I'm thinking the battery, but, um, you know, I've only been um, uh, out of the car for like an hour, hour and a half. Well, I'd say, I'd say like an, about an hour. And, uh... I didn't leave the lights on because it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't, I didn't leave the lights on at all. Didn't, I didn't leave anything on, uh, and um, I, I'm pretty sure it's not the battery. In fact, I, I know it's not the battery at this point. But um, let me just give you some backstory on this. Um, I had this situation a couple of times during the last six months where I couldn't get the car to start but um, I played around the terminals the terminals to the battery um, I kind of wiggled it a little bit got to start I actually did that I actually did that uh, about 15 minutes ago didn't do anything so that's not the cause of it um, about a month ago, I did have this situation where I was uh, right in the morning. Right in the morning, I was ready to go to work. I got into my car, and uh, it wouldn't crank. So I did it about three, five, three, about three to five times, uh, pressing the gas. Um, well, yeah, three to five times I, I did it. And uh, eventually, it did crank up, and it did start. It did crank up, and it did start. <clears throat> this time around, I did it 15 times and nothing. All right, nothing, nothing happened. So I was able to get somebody to help me out with a jump. This car right next to me, uh, nice guy, uh, you know, parked right next to me and put some cables on it. Nothing. Same thing. Uh, all the lights work. All the everything else works in the car. Like all the internal and electronics work in the car, but nothing else. Uh, it won't crank, and and it's not the battery. Obviously, it's not the battery because I did try to jump it. And I uh, got the battery about a year ago. I don't think the battery has any issues. I don't think the battery has any issues because uh, if uh, you know, once you put cables to it, it should it should work. But that didn't work. So um, it's not the alternator. I mean, I'm just troubleshooting at this point. It's not the alternator because the car would have to be running. It would have to be running. <clears throat> and, then, and then die out and then not start for that to be the alternator. And then you would put cables on it. And then after you put cables on it, take it off, uh, the car would die afterwards. So I, I've, been in, I've been through these, these kind of situations before. So I've had an alternator die on me um, while I was driving. Uh, and couldn't get the car to start. It went crank, but you know, once you put cables to it from another car um, or from an, from an auxiliary battery or whatever, it will crank up and start. But once you take that power off, cables off, the car will die. I mean, most of the time, uh, alternate issues happens when you're driving on the road. But that, that wasn't the situation. All right, this car was completely uh, off when I got in in here. Um. So basically, what I'm left with is either some kind of electronic issue or maybe the starter that's that that's that's causing it not to work. So, but um, 
I mean, it could be a fuse. <coughs> could be a fuse. It could be a... could be the relay, but I don't think it's the relay. Um, reason why I don't think it's the relay is... Um, the reason why I don't think is the relay is because I do hear a click. I mean, I hear a couple clicks, actually. I, I hear, I've heard the car click. A um, couple clicks. I've heard the car click. Um, every time I, I I try to start it, the car will click. It'll click. It'll click. It's like a click. So it'll click. So that means normally that means that there is power going to there's power going to the solenoid. There's power going to the motor, but the motor is just not running. It's just not turning. The motor's not running. The motor's not turning. It does click, so there's power going there. Okay, it's not the relay because if it was a relay, I wouldn't hear anything. I'd be just absolutely dead when I, when I, you know, try to turn on. So that's not the cause of it. And I don't think it's the fuse. Um, I've had situations where fuses were blown um, and it had issues. Uh, I had issues starting the car because of it. Um, so, but it's not that either. And I know it's not because. Well, fuses and cars not starting. There's most of the time. There's normally two, uh, two, two ways you can figure that out. One way is um, if the car cranks but won't start. I mean, well, if the car cranks but won't turn over, it might be the fuse. It might be the fuse. Not 100% the fuse, but it could be a couple other things. But one of the fuse would be one of those. Um, issues, or if there is no electricity at all going to to the car, like you won't you won't have any kind of lights at all. It'll be like if it was disconnected from the battery, you know, nothing at all. So if that's the case, then it could be a fuse, a blown fuse, a main fuse, or whatever. But that's not the case here because I am getting kind of, I am getting. Uh, a lot, you know, electricity. I am getting uh, everything works, except it won't crank over. That's the, that's the problem. So my only option after this is to bump the starter, um, which I will do. I will bump the starter, see if I could get it to work one last time, and if it does turn over after me, after I hit it with a crowbar, uh, which I do have a long crowbar, I'm gonna try to hit it with a long crowbar and uh, see if it does work. Um, and uh, that's that's my pretty much my last option at this point. Uh, after troubleshooting all this, now I will say that my starter on this car I changed it out maybe like uh, a year a year and a half ago. So I changed the starter out a year and a half ago, um, and um, I am right now really 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 disappointed that I didn't get uh, an OEM starter starter. I bought. A rebuild start of a warranty on it. I don't know how long that warranty is. Maybe like one year uh, lifetime. I don't know. I think it's a one year warranty or whatever it is. But if you guys know anything about rebuild starters, they're not 100% the most reliable things you could buy. As far as the starters are concerned, reason being is that when they rebuild these starters, they only rebuild part uh, the part that's broken. Every other part works. Every other part works. I mean, no, not every other part. What am I talking about? Every other thing on the starter has the same mileage as when it was taken out of the car. So let's just say if the car had 150,000 miles on it, um, they, they'll replace the, the, the part in the starter that broke. But they won't um, replace, um, you know, everything, the whole entire thing. Because then I, I think at that point it would be like brand new if they replaced everything. They won't even replace all the major parts. Um, unfortunately, what they'll replace is um, one single part of the starter that's broken and everything else they'll clean up. I, I don't know. It's an amazing process. I, I haven't looked into it, but the fact that they could get a starter you hand into them, like a, looking like a piece of rusted junk, and then making, you know, cleaning it up to the point where it looks like it's brand new. But regardless, regardless, uh, they didn't, they don't, uh, um, they don't change up all the parts in there so um and that's the case probably here but uh i'm gonna go i'm gonna try to bump it i'll keep you guys updated all right guys all right guys so so i i, I did i was able to get it to crank up one time 
uh, yesterday. I was able to get the car to crank up um, after I bumped it a couple of times and and tried to start a couple of times. Uh, on the uh, fifth try, it did crank up and I was able to get it uh, home. But once I turned off the car and tried to turn it on again, it wouldn't start. It would, I would have the same symptoms after that though. It was the starter. Definitely the starter that was causing um, the issues. It's definitely the starter that was causing the issues um, on it. And um, so I did I did change the starter and I did buy a used starter on eBay. Um, I, I ordered it. I actually bought it. I went to a junkyard that very same day. Um, got it. And um, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that starter had like, you know, the, it, it's a U starter. It's an OEM starter. I wasn't gonna get like a rebuild starter again, knowing what I know about re, uh, rebuild starters. So, um, I I put that in. Hopefully, this there was like forty bucks or whatever, and uh, hopefully, um, it'll last me a lot longer than this rebuild starter has. So, I mean, that's. Uh, I've had history with I've had history. Uh, I've had experiences with rebuilt alternator starters. They, uh, they go out. They, I mean, after I put them, install them, they go out. I've had an alternator that I went out like um, about a year and a half after I put it in. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to last maybe like 150,000 miles, 125, 150, before it goes out. So, so, um, so it wasn't uh, the worst situation, but um, I really wish um, that situation didn't happen. Because um, I lost uh, so much time, uh, I lost so much time, uh, hours and hours. Um, well, I, I did lose 30 minutes yesterday, about 30, 40. I lost an hour yesterday, and then today I lost maybe like two hours putting it in. But hey, but it is what it is. Um, stuff happens. I'm back on the road again. But um, uh, so if you guys. If you guys have any uh, questions, you know, comments or whatever, uh, feel free to leave your comment in the comment section. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Um, all that good stuff. Um, and uh, all right, guys. Uh, take care.